Hello and welcome to a special episode of Pale Blue Thoughts. Today, this channel is completing one year of being on YouTube. Exactly a year ago was when I uploaded our first video titled Promoting Scientific Temper. That video is one of our most popular videos with over 1000 views. The name Pale Blue Thoughts is actually a pun on the pale blue dot, that famous photograph taken by the space probe Voyager 1. As the spacecraft was departing our planetary neighborhood, for the fringes of the solar system it turned it around for one last look at its home planet today as the channel completes one year i too wanted to turn back and look at the humble beginnings of pale blue thoughts and then chalk out a plan for the future journey i also want to answer some questions that my viewers have asked me on different occasions the idea to start a channel came to me out of the blue on new year's day 2020 and it finally materialized almost seven months later. The pandemic created lockdown gave me some time than ever before to educate myself, express my creativity and ponder existence. In the journey, I initially had the help and support of my dear friend Sheen who was as eager to join me in the expedition. He has been an invaluable help in the tour and I thank him for all his support. Though he had to break the mission in the middle due to work and personal commitments, his support will always be fondly remembered. When I started out, I didn't have any clue about making videos, editing them, etc. And I learned a lot by watching other YouTube videos. I invested in a Boya M1 microphone, a green screen and two LED lights which I purchased off Amazon and used my iPhone XR to shoot my videos. The first few months were all of experimenting with different settings until I got it right. I used Wondershare Filmora to edit all my videos. It's a simple yet powerful software which makes the dirty job of editing less of a pain. Pale Blue Thoughts is probably the only channel that starts with thank signs as an intro. It then goes on to mention the reason for the channel. To uphold the citizens right of promoting scientific temper, humanity and the spirit of inquiry and reform. It is a fundamental duty of every citizen to do that as per the Article 51 AH of the Indian Constitution. These two messages have been appearing and would continue to appear in all the videos of Pale Blue Thoughts. The objective of this channel has been quite focused since its conception. Promote science and denounce pseudoscience. I was a student of science and studied science well into my graduation. It wasn't until I hit my middle ages and all the fat started to come down from the brain and started to settle into my middle that I was able to declutter my mind and started to think deeply about science. I realized what I missed all those years. I started learning about the things that I had by hearted while at school and started to think rationally and scientifically and tried to find evidences for everything and more importantly started to ask questions. I realized that science frees us from superstitions and dogmas and base our knowledge on evidence. There are two ways to look at the world through faith and superstition or through the rigors of logic, observation and evidence, through reason. But when I looked around, I realized that all around me were people who were opponents of reason. Apart from COVID, I also saw an epidemic of irrational superstitious thinking deeply ingrained in many of the people around me. I saw new age gurus and holy men who exhort us to run away from reality sad gurus who sprinkle scientific words amongst gibberish in order to appear wise in front of unsuspecting, unrealizing, gullible members of my species. In a country where the healthcare systems are struggling, untested, unproven, pseudoscientific medicine trade is increasing day by day. Religious intolerance and indoctrination are rampant. People are using the fruits of science and then cutting the roots of science. People who believe in all kinds of things without reason, astrology, vastu, traditional healing systems, organized religion, anti-vaxxers, evolution and climate change deniers, they are amongst us more than the virus. We live in dangerous times when superstition is gaining ground and rational science is under attack. When the majority is trying to become rivals of reason, I wanted to be the one who could bring about a change in the rational thinking of a few others. That would be the perfect legacy that I would want to leave behind apart from some nutrients for plants. 
and it is with that purpose that I started this channel to bring about a change in the minds of people and make them to start thinking scientifically. Coming to our content, we always knew that our content would create controversies as it is against what is currently accepted by the majority of the public. Many people believe that one should be tactful when going against societal prejudices. Some even prefer to take a middle ground by acting the good boy and trying to appease the majority by not reacting. My reply to that would be this. People have been swimming in the pool of pseudoscience for centuries now. I am not claiming that my videos would completely turn around the society as a whole and that from tomorrow everyone would start to think scientifically. I have no intention of doing that and I know that is not going to happen. But there would be many people who are sitting on the fence of intellectual mutation. Maybe they are unsure. Their numbers might be low but they have started to open their minds slowly. They will get the spark. That spark would get passed down and would become a network and slowly but steadily the chain would get longer until it becomes societal norm. I am fully aware that no free thinker is going to be popular ever. No one is going to carry them on their shoulders. No awards would come their way. But to stand one's ground and to say that the emperor has no clothes requires someone with a rational logical mind. To stand up to their convictions and shout the truth among a cacophony requires a great deal of courage. Ask me. It is not easy being the child who shouted that the emperor has no clothes. It requires a lot of conviction and courage to confront those who deny evidence about the real world and instead bend reality around dogmatic beliefs handed down by tradition. I am convinced that a skeptical rational inquiry is always the best approach to determine the truth. We don't have to follow the herd and buy into their irrational and pseudoscientific beliefs. We don't have to be swayed by the media-driven or politically orchestrated scares. Instead, we can all think independently and be truly open-minded. That is, asking questions and be open to reason and logic. Science has liberated us from superstition and given us centuries of progress and abandoning it would throw us back into the dark ages. All said and done, things which have to be said, have to be said. There is no point in holding back when you have evidence to back it up. Suppose your neighborhood is dirty and stinking and overflowing with garbage. You cannot expect it to be clean by sitting and painting a beautiful picture and blaming each other for it. Someone has to do the dirty job of cleaning the rubbish and the sewage. Someone has to sit on the ground on all fours and scrub the dirt and crap off. Someone has to get their hands dirty and I have taken it upon me and I have many such friends and peers who share similar attitudes and together we will keep trying. Let there be a minority who thinks logically and with reason in the society. What is the need for intolerance against them? Let somebody open up. Let the truth come out. Let there be a little light among the darkness. Why do you need to clamp such mouths? A scream always makes a sound and it cannot be done in silence. Let there be many more who can call a spade a spade. I have been quite straight in my analysis in all my videos and have based them on accepted scientific evidence. Sources for all my content can be found in the description. If you want to negate it, go for it. Give me the evidence and prove me wrong and I am only too happy to correct my mistakes. After all, I am a man of science and just like science, I am only too happy to self-correct if proved with satisfactory, reputed evidence. Just remember that if you are bringing in a claim, the burden of proof is on the claimant. I have been a strong supporter of vaccines and the greatest number of videos that I have done have been supporting them. I have strong evidences to contest things like astrology, vastu, all forms of woo-woo medicines, mobile phone radiation, organic farming and chemophobia, creationism, moon landing conspiracy, flat earthers, parapsychology, theism, all come under the big black umbrella of pseudoscience, superstitions or incorrect belief and they cannot claim to be scientific in any respect. To be honest, I don't care too much about criticisms. 
all of my videos have good references and reliable sources and I take care not to mention anything that doesn't have valid evidence behind it. Yes, I have had a few crackpots who have wanted to have their say in the comment section and their verbal diarrhea have been answered by the sweetest of smiles that I can give. And emojis can do that job better than I can. There is no point wasting my time responding to the bad natured comments and going off the tangent into a debate. Yes, I have had a certain gentleman who threw in a lot of pseudoscience garbage at me under one of my videos and even tagged Gyani Baba and believe it or not, our Prime Minister himself. The poor guy even mistook me for a doctor and said that I was getting money from the pharmaceutical mafia for making such videos. I was very happy to see that comment. Well. I hope to continue in the same vein and try to bring you the real truth behind and debunk as many pseudoscience as possible. Science has made human life much more convenient and easier by saving labor, time, enhanced healthcare and much more with new technologies. Science generates solutions for everyday life and helps us to answer the great mysteries of the universe. In other words, science is one of the most important channels of knowledge. There is no way that the world can progress without science and let us not contradict it with pseudoscientific concepts. If you have one who is sitting on the fence of intellectual mutation, pale blue thoughts would help you cross over to the side of reason. Thank you once again for your support over the last one year and hope you continue your support. And finally, like I have been saying for the past one year, until next time, it's bye bye from pale blue thoughts.